Hello, everybody. Now, since we have been talking about so many things that are instant, I mean, we love instant noodles, we love instant coffee, everything is instant. So today we are going to do instant stories. To begin with, I would like to call upon Rohika to tell her instant story. Hi, my name is Rohika and here's a story about a little girl who wakes up a room that looks like from a long, long time ago. Once there was a little girl named Rui. Rui was walking, was walking down the forest. Then she saw a small machine. Hmm. What it? What is this? She said. She pressed a button. Then she saw she was in a room. Of. She was in a room that she never seen before. This room looks like a long, long time ago, she said. She tried to find a way out, but the room's wall, walls are too strong. Then she saw another machine. She pressed the button and she made it out of the old room. She went happily out the room and he smiled back to their house. The end. All right, that was quite interesting. Good for an instant story for sure. Next, Eileen, let's hear it from you. Okay. So, the characters in the story will be a little naughty girl who is a little spoiled and, yeah, you don't want to know anymore. Her name is Casey. And then there's also her mother who worked as a robot scientist. And she was one of the people who made inventions for the future. And her name was Laurel. Okay. A little girl wakes up in the middle of a big robotic room. She looks around and finds that it is 2050 already. Oh man, I want I just wanted to go to 2024. Now I'll never get to see Jumanji part 214. She said she sat there sobbing already. What a petty girl. So if you don't know, how the time machine worked was that you get inside the capsule, you you set the year you want to go to, and then you fall, and then you faint. And then you wake up in the place where you teleported. So since Casey was teleporting in her mother's laboratory, where she made it, of course she was messing it with it again. So she woke up in the same laboratory, just a lot of years after. Meanwhile, Laura looks around in the past or present around the room in search of Casey. It's her daughter. Of course she's going to look for her. Don't tell me you're been, you've been tinkering in the lab again. She glanced at the time capsule machine thingy. She doesn't have a name for it yet, which, is, which had smoke flowing out of it. Oh, no. Okay, while Laurel was searching, Casey had already gotten out of the very familiar laboratory and had looked outside. Why are there no trees at all? Where are all the people? Where are all the houses too? All I see are shops and malls anywhere I go. And last of all, where am I? All these questions filled the little girl's head. She's become upset again and she was about to have a fit. She sat there frowning on the floor. 
<gasps> oh, why did you make this bomb? This is so bad. Why aren't there candies in the future? <laughs> okay. So, and then along came. Along came what? A little spirit of her mother. Perhaps you. Yet. This was, of course, in Casey's head. And the next moment, she was back in her house. Time travel is only temporary. <laughs> By the way, if you don't know why there are no people, teleporting existed. They don't need cars and they don't need houses too because their houses are invisible so that nobody steals them. So yeah, that's all. Thank you. That sounds quite imaginative indeed. And you can see Rohika's reaction was really good. Okay, Anika, let's hear it from you. Let's see how it goes ahead. Hello, today I'll be presenting a story of a little girl in the future or past. A little girl wakes up in the middle of a big robotic room. She looks around and finds out that it is, that it is 2050 already. The little girl is surprised. What? What? Oh my god, where am I? She finds out that there are no houses, just buildings. What she did? What? Did I time travel? Well, okay. Well, if I did, I have to find my way back. She is very, very worried. Since there are no people around her, no helpful people, just annoying and annoying robots surrounding her. But then suddenly, she got an idea. Since all the buildings are made out of metal. Why not just rip the buildings, well, if you can, and make a time machine? That's what she said. And surprisingly, robots are not good at building. So the room just collapsed down, and now she has a lot of metal. Once she collects the metal and builds, she finds a cauldron. She says, well, maybe I might be able to make a time machine, time travel potion. Okay, and successfully, she did. Once she did, she happily time traveled back into the future or past. Thank you. Interesting. All right, girls, thank you. We quite enjoyed the stories. 